No, I'm feeling the shades right now. We, we, yeah. Ta -da. Swimming through the sea, just my whaler in the. We're gonna go defeat a little Cody. Welcome back to another Pixelmon episode. Today we are once again on the Pokey Paradise server. Mine and Cody's brand new Pixelmon server. It's only been out for like two weeks. So if you want to come join the fun, the IP is pokeyparadise.org. Alright guys, uh, last episode, Cody and I had a little fight. And I totally would have won. Except for, I kind of was a little bit too confident. And then I decided to take along. This guy right here, Oranguru. I, I brought this guy just because I thought he looked awesome, even though he's a level five. So the first thing we're going to do is actually return Oranguru to my PC. Because he he's not a Pokemon that I caught, so I can't use him in battle. I can't train him up to fight him against Cody. So we're just going to take out Electric again for now. So last episode, we added a few new Pokemon to our party. We added Regigigas, our legendary. So let's throw him out real quick. And we also added in a Shiny Matang, who we got by linking our Discord account to the game. And you get a free Shiny. And the last Pokemon we added was a Water type. We got Whalemore Irv over here. So for today, we're going to be training up Regigigas. We're going to be training up Matang. Maybe even approach the Metagross level. That would be pretty awesome to get him evolved. Um, and we're also going to be searching for Pokemon that can replace Electric and Dugtrio. If you guys have any suggestions, leave them down below. Because those are the two Pokemon that aren't going to make the final cut. As well as we have a little bit of a side project going on, okay? So we're inside the Kraken City right now. I think instead of going to... Oh my gosh, that's a little baby Jonathan. Um, I think instead of going to Warp Training, where we could train faster, I'm going to look for Wild Pokemon. Because I really need to find a boss Pokemon that can drop me an XP all, okay? I really, really want one of these. You can also get them from the tier 3 master chest. Um, and I think there's one other way you can get. But, like, that was that will make training so much easier. And you know what? Let's just check the shop real quick. I've checked it a few times already. And I haven't even seen an XP share in there. Never mind an XP all. And since the server's so new, I'm sure... Oh my gosh! I don't have enough money. Somebody finally posted one. Dang it! That's exactly what I need, and it's sitting right there, ripe for the picking. But I think I only have like fifty thousand coins. Let me uh, let me check balance. Fifty-two thousand dollars! Oh my gosh, I need a fifty thousand dollar loan. Oh man, I need a fifty thousand dollar loan. You know what? No, we're gonna go try to get around. If somebody else got one, we can get one too. So let's actually get out our Charizard and start flying around. Go find a good spot to start training. And of course, like always, we will be fighting Cody at the end of the episode to see who is stronger. I am not going to let him beat me twice in a row. No, no, no. So far. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry, Charizard. I, your, your flame must be going out. I suppose I should pay more attention when I'm flying, she outside. Holy crap, holy crap, we got a boss, baby! It's an Ampharos! Now, I'm not sure um, if certain bosses are the only types that I, like, will drop the XP all, but I'm gonna fight every single boss I can find. Alright, let's go, baby! It's level 70. Um, yeah, we're gonna get wrecked. The thing just tackled me, and it's probably going to kill me pretty soon. Okay. Okay, this is a boss, right? This isn't something that I can catch. Yeah, let, let me just try Let me try going to Pokeballs and Master Balls. Yeah, no, no, no. It's definitely a boss. Oh, Reggie Gigas, come on. I don't think I have any po potions or anything. Yeah, I didn't bring any potions. Okay. Should have been a little bit more prepared to fight a boss, I guess. Do I just go for it? I, I do. Yeah, no, no, no. No, 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 I'm screwed. All right, Charizard. You're really my only hope here for the Fire Fang. 
It's an Ampharo, so maybe it'd do some damage. No, I guess it doesn't do as much as I thought. Dude, oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Just bulldoze him. He's gonna one hit the rest of my but maybe not Wilmer. Uh dude, water pulse. <laughs> Ampharos! So we did get him into the yellow. And now we're dead. Uh Electric, you're not gonna help me at all. Matang, what do you got, baby? What do you got, Matang? Please. Oh, man. Flash cannon. Do something for me. Uh, I wasn't very effective, so let's try the other choice here. Psychic. Dude, I think there's actually a chance we could beat him if we get some potions here. I might have to run back home and get potions. All right, here's the plan, guys. I just had somebody bring me 16 hyper potions. Thank you very much. You know who you are. And um, also, Cody said we're allowed to use our kits like every few episodes. We can't use them every single episode. So I'm going to go ahead and use these two best kits. And I should get 16 rare candies. Oh, man. Who do I put them on, though? I feel like Reggie Gigas was like helping me out the most Rodriguez. oh man I don't know if I should spread out the love body press hmm. I really like revenge double the damage if these are been uh huh so revenge is really good if you're slow I guess because if you've been hurt in the same turn it does double the damage so that would put it at 120 which this boss is definitely faster than us. So I think it makes sense to keep that. Let's get rid of Stomp. All right. So Reggie Gig is your level eh, 45. Let's stop there. And then let's give. Ooh, I feel like we got to give it to Charizard the rest. Come on, baby. Oh, I should use some for my dang. Uh. See, the, the bad part about this is I'm using these towards the beginning of my episode, guys, when they're easier to level up. So it really doesn't make much sense for me to be doing this, other than the fact that we really need to kill this boss. Ooh, do I keep... Fire spin? I think I'm going to get rid of it. That could be a mistake. Oh, well. All right, it's up to you two, really. It's really up to you two, and we do have those potions as well. Okay, it looks like Charizard's going first. And it did level up. I didn't know if it was going to be stuck at level 70 or not. So, guys, I think there's no way I'm going to beat this thing. I need all similar level Pokemon. I think what it is, it's 30 levels higher than your best Pokemon. And since Charizard's 47, Ampharos is then going to be 77. Oh, man. This, that, those might have hurt me more than anything using those rare candies, to be honest. Come on, Reggie Gigas. Let's just... We gotta hope for revenge. And then we'll just have to hyper potion you up. You're gonna be our only shot, Reggie. <laughs> Come on, please. I'm gonna try to take tank one more hit. Okay. Now we need to go to the bag. Use the hyper potion. So we should get to attack twice before having to do that. I think we can win, guys. I think we can do it. Okay, Ampharos, come on, baby. Come on. Does this mean we're going to have to get an Ampharos if we do win? Because we'll be able to... I think you can Mega Evolve Ampharos. Um, okay, we get a potion. As long as I don't forget to potion up every few turns, I think we can win. It's just going to be a long battle. Okay. We might get it right here, actually. We might get it right here. Roger Gigas, baby! Yes! Ampharosite and Light Clay. So we don't get the XP share or XPL, but, uh... We... Ooh. I usually go for the armband, but... What do you guys go for? I don't think I've ever gone for this. So let's try that. Um, do I have to take off my helmet to see it? 
As long as I don't forget It's like on the side of my head. I did not think it was gonna be like I thought it was gonna be like a crown on the top of my head. Can I switch that? Okay, I can. Yeah, let's go back for the arm bracelet. Or you know what? No. No, I'm feeling the shades right now. We, we yeah. Ta -da. This is awesome. We have an ampharosite, so maybe if you guys think so, um, I should get an ampharos, uh, for and get rid of Diglett or the electric. Maybe get rid of electric for ampharos. That sounds like a good idea to me. So we're just going to continue on. Honestly, like I went AFK, went to the bathroom, and came back, and that ampharos was there. <laughs> I, I I hadn't even really started searching, so maybe that's the best bet. Maybe I should just. To AFK until there's a legendary. I literally owe that whole W though to the person who brought me those hyper potions. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, I would have sucked without that, man. Literally. Even those rare candies would not have helped me. If anything, like I said, they might have made it harder because he got to level 77 instead. Alright, let's uh let's take out a few of these Pokemon. So I don't know what my luck is today, guys, but um there's not another legendary, but there's something even better. I'm pretty sure this is a pygmy bouffalant. Just look at him! He's so cute! He's so tight! Alright, alright. I'm gonna just master ball him, and you might be like, Kraken, you're crazy. And I know I'm crazy, okay? I want this bouffalant! And I want him now! I don't even care if he's good. I don't know much about a bouffalant, but I know I want it. So I just used the master ball. Okay. Uh, let's go slash warp Kraken City. I swear I'm going to be so mad if this is a small. If this is not a pygmy, I am going to freak out. For those of you guys wondering why I'm such an idiot, well, I'm obsessed with the tiny Pokemon. I'm obsessed with the pygmies. I'm going to have a pygmy collection. And this Buffalant is a pygmy! Yes! Right under official trainer, Kraken Kid, growth, pygmy. Yes, baby! Look at that! Oh my gosh! And guess what? It was when I went AFK again then. I come back and I see this gorgeous Poofalant. This little mini bull! What are you gonna do? You can't do anything, huh, Poofalant! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that could be a pygmy too. That's a little guy. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not gonna battle anybody right now. I got some business out there with legendaries. Now, I almost broke a rule because we're not allowed to catch any Pokemon that are higher level than our highest level Pokemon. But thanks to that Charizard in those rare candies, this guy was fine because my Charizard's level 46. This guy's level, or my Charizard's level 47. This guy's level 46. Poof a lot, poof a lot. Now, somebody actually told me there is a way to change the size of your Pokemon. I had no idea about this, but they left a comment. And apparently, if you do slash pokey build, or is it builder? I think it's builder. You can come over here, and let's just take my uh, Regigigas for a second. We can click on him. We can trade or er, uh, exchange some of his attributes, like anything from his IV stats to his growth gender. You can change all of this, but it costs something. It costs tokens. So. I could change him into a pygmy, which is the smallest one you can get unless you're doing it this way because there's one that's called microscopic and it's even smaller than a pygmy and it, it costs 60 tokens. So what I am going to do is I'm going to show you my tokens slash tokens. I only have 30. I need to get 30 more. I need to get my Reggie Gigas microscopic. Guys, I need to do this. So if I take a look at slash kits, I actually have access to um, a tokens kit. It's on cooldown right now, but I can every day use this and I'll get free tokens. You get 20 tokens each time you use it. So I'm not going to be able to do it for a couple days, but when I can, I can't wait to see how small the microscopic is microscopic it better not let me down so every three days i can trade a, a pokemon in for a microscopic and pretty soon we will have my entire squad as microscopics that's my plan at least now let's go back to spawn for a second 
before we continue with our boss hunt because we also need to do our daily item roulette. So if you want to do that, you just come on over here and as long as you're using our mod pack, you can do the daily roulette and you get a free item. Evolutionary stones, uh, different Pokeball. Oh my gosh, there was an XP all! There was an XP all! We got a random Porygon piece. I'll take that because I actually do want to get Porygon made. We got his head. Oh. Well, it's actually the next day. I had to pause to uh, finish this episode, guys. And I log in. And within the first 30 seconds, this guy named Nerd underscore Cubed shouts out the location to a master chest loot. Okay, this is... If you don't remember, this is one of the ways I can get the XP all. This is like... It is a complete sign. So I TPA to him. And guys, look it. It's in a fake tree. He found a fake tree that has a master chest loot right there. So we can get all sorts of cool things from this. Please. Oh, please. I would freak out if we get the XP all. Come on. What did we get? Weakness policy. A held item that raises the holder's attack and special attack by two stages when hit by a super effective move. The weakness policy is consumed when this occurs. What? So, guys, uh, if you want to come claim this master chest for yourself, the coordinates are right there under the mini-map. You can come here. Maybe you'll get luckier than I, and then you can sell me your XP, y'all. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. All right, so let's warp Kraken City. Now, Cody is actually playing right now. So, he wasn't playing yesterday when I was on. Oh, my gosh. They're all over me already. Oh! Hi, guys. What's going on? Oh my gosh, stop. Oh my gosh. Should I be allowed to use this? I don't know. I didn't trade for it. Like, I want to be able to use items from you. I'm going to put this one, like, separate just because I don't know. Um, But I want to be able to use items from you, but I want to, like, pay a fair price for them, if that makes any sense. Dude, that's a shiny Charizard right there. Oh my gosh, you guys got all sorts of cool Pokemon now. That's awesome. What is this? Kraken Waiting Throne. <laughs> oh, Community Pokey Healer. You guys are really making some progress over here. Every day I log on, there's a bunch of new stuff. Like the little Pokemon base. But guys, uh, we're going to be facing Cody pr pretty soon. And I have not really uh, leveled up my Pokemon too much besides those dead red candies. So I'm going to take a break from the boss hunting. We fought one. We found a Master Chest. And we just had bad luck, bad luck, bad luck. So we're going to come to the training zone for the last bit before we have to fight Cody. And we're going to try to get Batang up to Metagross. Um, then we, if we still have time, we're going to then go try to find a different Pokemon that we can, uh, you know, get rid of Electric or Doug Trio for. I mean, Buffalant, we already got rid of Doug Trio. Now, Buffalant, although we put him in our party... Um, for now, he's not going to stay there. He's just for the pygmy collection that's going to stay in the PC. Uh, we will use him today probably, but we need to fill that slot pretty soon with something that's going to be stronger. So, like I said, I need suggestions down below. It's time to get training. And they took all the blissies and chanties. Oh my gosh, it's a pygmy chanty! You're fighting it right now, aren't you? Wolves. Oh, the pygmy Chansey is gone. Come, give it to me. There we go. Whoa, okay, so Zen Headbot was actually a lot stronger. But Chansey's got like one HP. Uh, okay, we'll drop all that crap. Plissy! Come here, Plissy. Oh, it's a level 42. That's going to be some real good experience. Come on. Yes. Yeah, Zen Headbot is... Definitely more strong than the Metal Claw against the Blissies and Chanseys. Oh my gosh! Yes! I got it! I got it! There's a boss, Blissy, guys! I just... Oh! I thought somebody else was gonna get it. I panicked. I panicked. Okay. Ooh, we got the boss, Blissy. We have to win. Matang, this is gonna level you up, too. He's almost Metagross. You can see he's literally like a tiny bit away. This is perfect! Please, Metagross. Or please, Matang, just win. Win. We do have those potions still, I think, unless I put them in my chest. I might have. Okay. Uh, we're definitely going to win. It's just a matter of if we can do it with Matang. 
I might have to, but it looks like we're going to be able to. Oh, man. Yes! One more hit. This is going to do it. Thank you so much. I, and I'm not sure if this is the type of boss that we have a chance of getting the XP off, but could you imagine how amazing that would be? 7,426 experience. Thank you very much. And we got an X defense. So I'll claim that and <laughs> drop the rest. Matang is evolving, but no, I can't see it. Of course. <laughs> I hate when it does that, man. <laughs> Let me see if I can move. And uh, no. It's just going to do it without me seeing it. We have a shiny Metagross. And we're going to learn Hammer Arm. Okay. Um, it's a physical attack. So I should probably get rid of another phys physical attack, like Metal Claw. Yeah, I feel like it's got to be Metal Claw. Uh, the user gathers all light energy and releases all it wants. It's all of that. Yeah, let's go. Let's get rid of Metal Claw. Dun, dun, dun. We now have a shiny Metagross. Let's just see what you look like. And can I ride you? Please, oh please. Yes! <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Oh my gosh, he can fly too. Look at me. I am riding this Metagross. This is amazing. Oh, a lot of you guys wanted to make sure I keep this in my party, but you don't have to worry about that. He is here to stay. Oh, that's so exciting. Metagross, now that we've trained you up a little bit, I think... So, I think we get the Whalmer up a little bit, and then I might go to training Regigigas again. We'll try to get, like, Regigigas to, like, low 50s, maybe. Alright. Did you guys save me any Chanseys or Blissies? It's been so packed over here today that I haven't been able to get a lot. Been having to, uh... I don't know what the third best is. I know Blissey's the best and Chansey, but I've been just killing the Audinos as the third best. Oh, there's Chansey! Okay. So... I don't know. I might not actually be able to kill Chansey too easily with you. Yeah. I don't know if I can because Water Pulse is probably a special attack. And yeah, we need a physical attack. So what I think I should do is probably switch Pokemon, which is kind of annoying. So we'll, we'll, but we'll do, we'll do Regigigas. We want to train him anyway. So we'll just go a little bit slower for the both of them. Actually, Regigigas is about to evolve. So, I believe the strongest one for you was Body Press? No. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was good. Oh, look at that. Wilmer is evolving. At least we're going to get to see this. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we do get to see this. This is the first evolution I've actually been able to see, not glitch. Oh, baby. That's a big boy. That's a big boy. Uh, that's a really big boy. What the heck? What is your growth rate? I don't think I ever checked. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is pretty enormous though. Look at me. <laughs> I can't get off this. This is huge. Body press Chansey to, or Blissey to death, man. Super effective. Take him out of the game. All right, drop all. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Uh, this kill's gonna get us to level 50 for Reggie Gigas, baby. This is awesome. Oh, man. There we go. Level 50 Reggie Gigas. Halfway to 100, right? Okay, so, uh, we got Whaler to level 47. I'm gonna stop training him there, I think. Um, I might check to see if I have any good TMs that we can put on him because his move sets is pretty trash right now. Let's get Electric up just for now. Try to get him to at least 40. Um, he could be our weakest Pokemon. I don't really care. And I'm just going to continue switching from Electric to Regigigas for now. I want to get like 52 to 54 for Regigigas. I should actually probably look up his stats and see like what moves he learns when. See if there's anything worth grinding out for before this battle. So we should get some pretty fast levels with this electric. Yeah. We just gained three levels just from that. And now we're going to have a Manectric. Very nice. 
Dun, 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 dun. And you, you run and hide behind the cliff so we can't see you. That, 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 that's rude. Oh, wait, we might be able to zoom out enough. There we go. So I think I'm going to decide to stop Regigigas at 52 and maybe get Charizard up to, like, 50. Oh, wow, I didn't realize he's so close to a level. Look at that. <laughs> he's literally, like, one experience away. So Charizard's at level 50, and Manectric is finally strong enough to take on the Blissies and Chanseys himself. So we're, we're getting pretty close. Ooh, Discharge. I really like that move. That one's good. Uh, yeah, that one was really strong. I remember I used it in the last time I played Pixelmon. Oh, there's an, a boss explode. I missed it. No, did I miss another boss? Oh, my gosh. And that's a blue one, too. That's a rare boss. Oh, I suck. I suck. I suck. <laughs> that's literally, like, not too long after the boss explode. I gotta pay more attention. I'm just, like, too focused on finding the Chanseys or Blissies. But on the bright side, we're one kill away from getting level 40 Manectric. So I might try to get a few more levels out of here and just wait until keep training until Cody's ready. All right, guys, we're just going to take a wheeler for a quick cruise right here. This thing is ginormous. <laughs> we're still waiting on Cody to finish up. Oh, my gosh. This thing is ginormous. Oh, no. There's a gap in the sea. I can't go past here. No! These stupid blocks won't let me explore outside the boundary. Swimming through the sea, just my whaler in me. We're gonna go defeat a little Cody. Do 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 do. Should I keep him big or should I make him microscopic too? If I if when I do finally get enough tokens, I'm going to do uh Reggie Gigas first. He's going to be uh, microscopic for sure. Or I could go the other route with this Wailer. I could make him the, uh, what was it? Slash Pokey Builder. What was the giant, giant version called? We'll go to Growth. Ginormous. A ginormous Pokemon. Right now, he's enormous, which is the biggest normal one, I think. And then this one, it's like you have to buy with tokens only. At least that's... Oh, my gosh. Warp. Kraken. City. I didn't realize I sunk to the bottom. Did we survive? We did. Three hearts left. What are you doing inside my house? Holy crap. Holy crap. Look at the size of that Raikou. That has to be a pygmy or a microscopic, man. That thing is amazing. What the heck? And is it shiny? Oh, my gosh. A shiny legendary pygmy. That, that is amazing, man. I want him. Give him to me. Just look at the little guy. I'll give you two dollars for him, Modex. Two dollars. I mean, even this Tyranitar, that's either a small or a pygmy, too. That's pretty small. Oh, my gosh. What you looking at, punk? Oh, I can't zoom in on his face. What you looking at? Huh? Oh my gosh. Yeah, so right now we're just waiting for Cody. So, oh my gosh, that's a small one too. These guys got all the cool Pokemon. Yeah, so we're just waiting for uh, Cody to finish up and be ready for this battle. And I'm just hanging out over here at my base. That was, oh, was that Pygmy? Dude, they got all the cool stuff. Hey there, Cody. Who was that? I don't know. There's a cookie. Oh, uh, there's a cookie and then it's gone. Correct. There's 100 people on right now. Do you know that? I, I. Whoa, I did not know. There's 94 players, Cody. I can count. Round up. Round up. Do you see the crown? Do you see the crown? That, that's, yeah. That's going to be mine after this battle. You're going to play for pink slips. All right, guys. Let's just get right into this. And I did go vote, and I got 20 keys. Nice. You better not be lying to me. You'll get, you'll, you'll get an XP share at least. I got two of them. You got two All. What? what? I gotta try this out. So you ready to Three, go? Two, one, go. Uh, what you got there, Kraken? Oh, that was Withdrawing. Yep, we're going for Manectric. I'm sure you're gonna withdraw too, though. I'll get it. You get a free hit there. Oh my gosh, that was actually good. Oh, I didn't withdraw. I thought I'd be able to tank it. Okay, that was pretty stupid of me. Have you ever met Square Butt? I have, Cody. I met Square Butt last episode. He's kind of a beast. I don't even know what type of Pokemon Square Butt is. You know, um, we're not even sure. 
he's still being identified by um the mankind <laughs> okay that was a mistake i should have gone okay well you know i have a square butt of myself why wouldn't you have gone whaler i don't know i should have i don't even know what this who's this donkey bro <laughs> it's my pygmy buffalon Buffalon. Wow, he does look like a Buffalon. I don't even know what type of moves he has, to be honest. Like, Buffalon used reversal, super effective, but that ain't enough sauce. It was super stink. effective, and it didn't even do any damage to you. Clearly, he's trash. He's like a Tauros, but like wannabe Tauros. Oh, it did more that time. Oh, I should have used Iron Head again. Dang it! I just figured strength would be able to get the job done. Oh, actually. There we go. Finish the job, square butt. So it seemed like the more I used it, the more strong that move became. Probably read your move sets. Dude, everybody loved the last episode. I know. That's a Wailord and a Luxray. I don't know what type of Pokemon Luxray is. Nice tank there, Luxray. That's what I'm talking about. You know, Wailord's feeling pretty good. Oh my gosh, maybe I shouldn't. Yes. I already uh, committed to another attack. Tank it, Ice Cube, level 59. 59! Do you, understand? Do you understand how strong I am? Get down with the sickness. Oh, why would you? Oh, because he's done well before. Well, Kraken, I've got a little special move for you. Do you? It's called Surf! No! Okay, so you finally got an actual water move, not just... Uh. Yeah. Reggie well, did you, did you check the uh, the weather report, Kraken? Because it looks like a side of hell. Oh, revenge! That's pretty good. That's a good move. But you did no damage. Did you hit first or did I? Because revenge does better if if you hit first. I think I used hail first, so I don't. I didn't like do a uh, attack. All right. Say hello to Pyroar. Pyroar. Hyper voice. I got rid of your stroke. Oh my gosh. Is this your legendary? Is this all that he can muster? I don't even know what you have for a legendary. Bum, bum. I know I do. I did get my legendary this episode. And, and do you know what the hype thing is, Kraken? What? The, hype the announcement? No, I don't. That's not enough damage. Matang. <gasps> oh, wait. That, I hurt myself. Because of your hail. Yeah. Okay. 32. I don't know what I should be doing. Super effective with the Crap. crunch. Can I, oh, come on! No! Flash. You hit first, too, right? Yes, I did. Oh, my gosh. That was stupid. Shadowlands. Shadowlands. Hyper voice still gets it through. Okay, I underestimated this Pyroar guy. Yeah, you did. It's all good, Kraken. I don't know what I, I actually I'm gonna be honest with you, I underestimated him. <laughs> Alright, there she goes. Here is my legendary Kraken. Oh, it's only level 41 though, Regigigas. Leveled up one. It has no moves. What it just can it raise has... its defense. What? I, I thought it would have learned one by now. You're kidding, right? Yo, he trash. Please. I, I mean, I could use teleport. <laughs> oh, that did a lot of damage. All right, I'm not going to switch because I'm just going to let him die. <laughs> I, oh, you, I thought that was your last Pokemon. It's not. Oh, you thought you had me? Is this your last Pokemon? Yes. I, I don't, don't know. I don't think I'm going to be super effective against, or effective against you. Oh, there we go. I have won the battle and I still had a square butt with 63 health. Square butt, square butt, square butt. What was it? Pyroar, dude. That Pyroar is the one that, like, oh, he took me down. Yep. Pyroar, there's a male version of him with a main that looks like uh, Simba. Is he a fire Pokemon? I, I don't even, I can't even, I don't even know. I'm a fire Pokemon, but I got this really cool move, like, for called Hyper Voice. So, it's not like Hyper Beam or anything like that. But it's got 90 damage, 100% accuracy, and it's like me roaring really loud, I think. Yeah, you changed up your party quite a bit from last week. I was not expecting that. Good game, good game. All right, so 2-2, two, yeah. two, right? It 
It is 2-2. Two, two. Atlanteans, comment down below who you think is going to be winning next episode. Kraken, are you ready for the announcement? You have to go poop? No, I don't have to go poop. Atlanteans, June 11th, next Friday, less than one week away, we're launching a brand new server. The one with my face, finally! Go to slash hub. Or brand new realm. So this will be a brand new fresh server. Nobody's ever played on it. I'm going to be doing a live stream series. Totally separate from my Atlantis series. And I'll be giving you guys the days when I go live. I'm thinking it's going to be Wednesday and Fridays. We'll see how that plays out. And we'll have Baby Blooper and Campbell Crab playing on here. Blue, uh, Kraken, you know what that means, right? That means a lot of chaos. A lot, a lot of chaos. The reason we're doing this is because the Atlantis one is already maxing out at 120 players during peak time, guys. So uh, this is just another server, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yep, and Baby Blooper is going to be starting videos again over at his channel. Atlanteans, unite! Come on the server and play.